Oops. So, hmm, that's not really going to work. Let's just take that and we'll feed into there. Charcoal. And we'll feed wood into the top there. Now, I'll just let that finish doing what it's doing. Oops. And let's grab some more wood. Yeah, fast leaf decay is pretty nice, I must admit. Um, hmm. Really, there's issues with light there? Hmm, these must be causing some lighting issues, but as long as I'm here, nothing can spawn this close. Let's go ahead and replant these. Ooh. Hello. Get them, boys. Great. Yep, one of those guys. Get out of here. Hmm. So, I need to get my golden lasso. I need to put two of these guys back in place. Oh, three of them. Oh, probably because these guys were so close that when it exploded, they both got sent flying. Okay. Oh my goodness. How many of those creepers exploded? I thought I only heard two, but that's crazy. These guys are all over the place. Come here, obsidian turret. Um... There we go. And there's still one down there. Hey! You quit shooting that guy! Yeah, I definitely need to get these guys some, uh, some repair capabilities. Alright, let's run down here and figure out where this guy's supposed to go. Oh, a fishing zombie! That could definitely pull somebody off. All right, there we go. I may have to go ahead and change around some of these guys' uh, upgrades because I don't know who got moved to where. But I'll figure it out. I thought uh, trees didn't grow at night. I guess they do. Yeah, I know you're here. see how our agricarnation's doing over here. Well, it's working. It is working. I guess that's all I can really ask for, right? Is that it works? What's up with that potato? Let's go ahead and get this put away. And then we've got the pure daisy. Hey, come here, you. Quit up rooting my potatoes. 29%'s not bad in that amount of time, I suppose. Come here, creeper. Come on, creeper face. Fire zombie is a fire zombie no more. Come 
here, you big jerk. That's right, I can set you on fire with my sword. Um, let's see, for some reason I can't pick that up. Ah, because my inventory is full. Angry zombie! Oh no, he took the fish! Now let's go clear out some inventory space and go pick up that armor. I don't really need the armor, but, eh, you know, it's nice to have. Alright, so what else did I pick up? Oh, potatoes. I don't have room for potatoes in there, do I? Nope. Right, let's get some of this wood put away. So from here, we'll put in a stack. And I'll put the rest in there. Oh, that was not the wood, was it? That was my sh excavator. Uh, yeah, we'll just take all of that out. Clear this stuff out of my inventory, and let's go grab the loots. There we go. Oh, wow, what are you, a bold zombie? <clears throat> oh my goodness! He almost killed me in one hit! Okay, I'm safe hiding amongst my sheep. Ah! Plague zombie! No! He's got a bow! This is not good. Oh my goodness. I am almost dead. Where did that bold zombie go? I mean, I thought, you know, okay, I'll just... I'll hit this guy, and then he turned out to be bold. First time I'd ever seen one of those. And he totally got me down to, like... What, one one heart? One and a half hearts? In one hit. I'm like, no! Are you the bold guy? You are the bold guy. You are taking a shot. Yeah, you're not quite so bold as you thought you were. Ooh, wow. He dropped some treasure. Hey, I like treasure. I do. He dropped a treasure bag from Thalmcraft. Let's see. Ooh, an uncommon treasure. That's always good. Set this guy on fire. Do I have any gunpowder? No. Uh, I don't want your stupid mushroom, that's for sure. Well, okay, it's not a stupid mushroom, it's just a mushroom, but I don't want it. Alright, let's take a look at the armor. Do I have one of those chest plates around here? No. Alright. Let's get this stuff put away. Oh, I didn't realize I got glowstone leggings as well. I'm so running out of room. That's why I've got to get that storage room set up. Um, apples. You. Guess we'll put zombie flesh or rotten flesh in there for now. Um, do I have any other fish? I do. Uh, let's see. Glowstone leggings. Nice. I can uh, combine these. 67 and 105 gives us a 185. Aye. Seriously. Click to open. Ooh, we got an apprentice... Apprentice's Ring of Terra. Ooh, a diamond. Two ender pearls and a golden chest plate. Protection 2, Unbreaking 2, and Soulbound 1. That's nice. Well, let's go ahead and put this bauble ring in. And so we've got an Ordo discount and a Terra discount. Nice! Very nice. Uh, let's see, this golden chest plate can go in here. Um, another diamond. That's nice, because, you know, I don't, I don't have any other diamonds. 
Um, I spent the last two I had previously Uh, let's go see how things are looking out here. I heard another explosion. So one of these guys has probably been teleported somewhere. Yep, the guy down here on the end. Where did he go? Um, is he up here somewhere? Um, oh, that's not good. Wait, did he go, did he get teleported inside the house maybe? don't want to drop down that hole and end up putting blood in my uh, smeltery. Okay, I found him. I was worried there for a minute. I thought maybe he was going to be in some kind of a cat house. Okay, we're good. So now let's go and check out our... melons. I'm very happy. So now I need to make some melon blocks and then put a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern on top of its head. So we've got 18 here and 11 more. That'll give us three. So that's good. I need two right now, and... Oh, why are there glowstone and leggings in there? They should have been in here. Oh, I must have stuck them in the wrong chest. Alright. So now we go to... Is it in here? Yes. And again, it doesn't matter if you use a uh, pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern, either will work. So now what we want to do is, I guess, I'm going to go and make kind of a little room where this guy will be kind of trapped, I suppose. Um... Do I want him to be able to get out in any way? Um, I mean, honestly, I might be able to just build, you know, make him right here and let him just kind of run back and forth. Maybe put in a walkway here or something. Well, I guess, I guess let's go ahead and try that. The, the thing I want to make sure is that he's not going to uh, run away. Or... Not really run away, but move so far that I can't, um, that he's not healing my turrets. So obviously I'm going to need more stone bricks. I've got stone in there. I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Let's go ahead and build this guy right here to start with. So there we have a melon golem and I'm hoping to be able to see him heal these guys. Eighty-nine, eighty-nine, one hundred to you, ninety, he may just not be close enough. Oops. Uh, where did that go? Let's see what happens if I put him right here. Okay, so he wasn't close enough, apparently. Ew, I wonder if I could, like, trap him in the corner of the building or something. Uh, let's see what we can do. Oops, get up there. Could I put him, like, there, and... Hmm.
So maybe something like that. Oh, nice. He's He is moving, I think, to heal them. That's good. Okay, so let me see if I can take this and maybe just drop him down inside like that. So from there, he should definitely be able to heal them. Um, I might even be able to <clears throat> cover him up some more. But definitely that should take care of those two. Um, the next thing would be something here in between these guys, but that would be oof, difficult. I may have to redesign it so this guy can just kind of wander back and forth inside the walls. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do something like that. It'll it'll look kind of weird, I think, but that's okay. I want these guys to be uh healed or uh repaired regularly. So, if I make it so this guy can wander like right here behind these guys. 